for Oh my god, you're gathering fruits from a tree from your ship. What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another video. So I recently made this video about the most anticipated upcoming games and one of those games I mentioned in that video was Skull and Bones by Ubisoft. Well, we now have an actual release date for that game and some gameplay overview. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at that gameplay overview of Skull and Bones and see what it's going to be like because let's be honest at this point nobody really knows. So let's just hop right into it and see what it's like. Oh and this game is releasing November 8th on PS5, Xbox Series X and Stadia if you even remember what that was and also on PC. So here we have Skull and Bones gameplay overview trailer. Oh, I actually need to get these on. Welcome. Okay, let's just say that this game looks great. The graphics are great. To Skull and Bones. Our game takes place during the golden age of piracy in a world inspired by the beautiful yet dangerous Indian Ocean. That's a cool ship. Check that skeleton at the front of that ship. You'll start your journey as an outcast, whose goal is to become the most infamous pirate to sail these treacherous waters. Okay, that we already knew. After surviving a shipwreck, you begin your adventure in St. Anne, one of the pirate dens in our world. Dens are centers of pirate activity, where you can craft new ships and equipment, provision for your expeditions and Provisions, okay. So you can purchase like cannonballs and food. Let's see. Pick up contracts and socialize with other players. Okay, let's see. So there is going to be VoIP in the game. Judging from this voice icon over there. And so yeah, what else we can see? So there's its nickname. I don't know why there's an Ubisoft logo over there. And then we have a, some kind of icon. I think this is his level or his rank or something like that. Any pirate worth their salt will tell you that preparation is key to success. G okay, let's see. Water barrel. So this must be how much this one costs. And we have cargo, warehouse, transfer goods. So there's some food water barrel, barrels and cannonballs referencing drinking water grants 15 percent speed buff okay and what's at the top here okay so you have uh that's it i don't know if you can see that but it's basically a fork and a spoon so this must be your hunger level get ready for any challenges that come your way by checking that your cargo is stocked with items like food and ammunition. Once you're set, it's time to head out and explore. Okay, so this must be your own ship and your crew members. I really like uh, these decorations. These As a rookie pirate, bones. you'll only have access to a small dow, but as you progress, you'll be able to craft different ships, each with their own unique playstyle. That's pretty nice. At sea, you'll need to pay close attention to the condition of your ship and the morale of your crew. Your crew are a pack of vicious raiders and rovers who will mutiny against you, if not kept well-fed and happy. If your ship okay. sinks, you'll lose some progress and respawn at the nearest discovered den or outpost. I wonder what that actually means in the game. Losing progress when you fail something is usually not a good thing. But I mean, if it means that when your ship sinks and then you need to use some resources to actually craft it again, I think that's totally fine. The good news is that most of your cargo will be recovered and you'll have the opportunity to retrieve the rest from the wreckage. But you'd better be quick as other players can also steal it. Okay, so yeah, exactly what he said. So when you die or your ship sinks, some of its uh, cargo will 
stay at the location where you died and pretty much everyone can claim it. So if you get there in time, you will get back your cargo and no harm done, but other players can also get there before you and get your precious cargo. As a pirate captain, your reputation is everything. And our game tracks this through infamy. The higher your infamy, the more... Okay. The higher your infamy, the more opportunities you'll get. So let's see. Okay, more I don't understand. You'll get. One of the many ways to grow your infamy is to take up contracts. These are Okay, let's go back a little. That you can make with other so you'll gain 55 infamy and you lose zero. Hmm. So I guess there's good and evil progress. Infamy is to take up contracts. These are deals that you can make with other pirates. That ship looks absolute garbage, by the way. It's in the world. Okay, at close range, it does look cool. Contracts Sorry about great that. Great rewards if you're successful, or costs if you fail. You can also gain infamy by completing other activities, such as exploration, plundering, treasure hunts, investigations, dynamic events, and much more. Ooh, dynamic you events. can undertake these either solo or with other players. The world of Skull and Bones is filled with riches and resources that you'll be able to gather as you explore. Lagoons and rivers are te Wait, what? Did you see that? Teeming resources that you'll... So you stay in your ship be able to gather as wow, while you are sowing down this tree to explore lagoons and riches and resources that you'll be able to gather as you explore so you don't you are actually the ship i mean that's a bit odd choice. Lagoons and rivers are teeming with dangerous wildlife that you can hunt for animal skins and meat. You'll That's also cool. be able to harvest a variety of raw materials, such as ore and wood. Again, you are staying in your sh ship. You are basically the ship and you are mining this rock. I mean, that's pretty freaking stupid. That can be refined and used for... Oh my god, you're gathering fruits from a fucking tree from your ship. Oh my god, that must be the stupidest thing I have ever th ever seen. Crafting. Crafting is an essential activity for you to progress. I mean, come on, that's so stupid. Just let the player get off the ship to collect the stuff. That that was like absolute garbage. Absolute garbage as an infamous pirate. Okay, Obtain crafting. Prince and use your refined resources to craft stronger ships, weapons, and armors. That sounds In cool. In Skull and Bones, ships serve many different purposes. Cargo ships are slower, but useful if you need to transport large volumes of loot. Navigation ships... What the heck are those spikes? I mean, look at that ship. Holy crap. Sail faster, but have less cargo... Damn, that's cool looking ship. And lower hull HP. Firepower ships have more gun ports, allowing you to deal higher damage, but are more challenging to maneuver. Similarly, you can craft a wide array of unique weapons and armors, from Greek fires to giant ballistae to rocket launchers and mortars, as well as different armor types, which have varying strengths and weaknesses against incoming attacks. Okay, that's cool. With your new fleet and growing arsenal, create a loadout based on your personal playstyle to become a force of destruction. Out in the open ocean, opportunities and threats are abundant. Okay, let's see. Okay, so here you can see another ship and the loot that you can get from it apparently over here oh you can see from behind me uh 
apparently over here is the faction to whom that ship belongs to. Yeah, let's use your spyglass to identify lucrative trade routes or wealthy merchant ships and assess your prey's cargo and firepower. Strategize a plan of attack based on your opponent's defenses and take advantage of their weak points to deal more damage. Sinking your foes from afar rewards you with only a portion of their cargo, as some of it will be lost to the depths. Getting in close to execute a boarding maneuver will help maximize your gains. But beware, you can turn from predator to prey in a heartbeat if you attract the unwanted attention of privateers, the merciless pirate hunters that patrol the seas. If you enjoy the thrill of the hunt, okay. you can also seek out other players and rain terror on them. Such so some PvP, PvP battles are high stakes activities that can be rewarding if you emerge victorious. So I'm currently confused. Is this an open world where you can see other players or are these like some instanced matches or how it's going to play? From your I have no idea. Battle, Personalize your individual look with outfits that command respect. So that's cool. You can also. I'm pretty sure that the in game store will sell a Coast Pirate costume, which you can only purchase with money. So select it, from it's a what it is. Of ship customization options to also, a ship customization option Coast Ship purchasable from the store. Just my guess. Still fear in your enemies. That's cool. With the wind in your sails, journey to the furthest reaches of the Indian Ocean, from the coast of Africa to the East Indies. Encounter extreme weather events like violent storms and monstrous road waves. That's pretty cool. Keep your eyes peeled for outposts, which are safe spots where you'll be able to dock your ship for a short rest from the perilous seas. Here, you can trade with traveling merchants and clandestine smugglers selling rare and illegal goods. Uncover buried bounties at outposts as you decipher treasure maps obtained through your voyages. Although all the content in Skull and Bones can be done solo, okay, here we might go. enjoy ruling the seas with your friends. While sailing, you can also easily invite other pirates you encounter to group up. Synergize your different playstyles, ships, and weapons to defeat deadlier enemies. As you grow stronger, take on more difficult challenges, such as attacking forts and plundering settlements. And if you're bold enough, Engage in dynamic events like taking down heavily laden merchant ships and their fleet of warship escorts. Now, it's up to you to write your own story. Remember, there is no one path to follow. No I mean, one the game way looks to play. The very world cool. of Skull and Bones is yours. Let's be to honest. Discover. Okay, this is a very tough one. I mean, the game looks very good. Types, which the graphics, graphics are great. But, I mean, you are basically your ship and only get to walk around in those ports, I think. So, as you can see here, you are collecting fruits straight from your ship which is kind of dumb and also if the game is like completely about the naval battles which <coughs> makes makes sense but if if this is the only gameplay the hunt you can also seek out other play i mean like if these battles is like the gimmick of the game what else there can be you only get to walk around I'm, I'm assuming in these ports and then you just sail around and you shoot with your ship and then you sail around and you shoot with your ship and then you get a quest and you go shoot another ship if if this is the only gameplay this has to be very very good in order to like keep people 
entertained and engaged more than an hour or two. But yeah, that was the Skull and Bones gameplay overview. I'm not sure that this game is going to be entertaining enough for like more than a few hours. Yeah, final verdict, kind of mixed feelings about this game. We'll have to wait for the beta test. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this Skull and Bones gameplay overview. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game. Is this going to be a game you will be picking up? Make sure to like and subscribe and thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.